Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into what I think will be the future of productivity. This has been an application I've looked at a couple of times but I just recently started uh, testing out. Basically it is a daily planner application for those of you familiar with daily planner applications. This is quite similar to uh, something like Sansama for example. It is a daily planner but it does one thing really different. Uh, it uses uh, data provided by your variables like your Apple Watch, Garmin uh, watches or Aura rings, things like that. It uses that information combined with information you provide to the application in order to create these um, focused block and these energy calm blocks. And basically what this means is that these are your energy peaks uh, and these are your uh, the, the times where you have less energy. So for most people like afternoon uh, and uh, evening, uh, but more on how this exactly works later. Um, the application is unfortunately not free, but it comes with uh, regional pricing or uh, at least pricing uh, for me in Norwegian kroner. So it might be a little different depending on where you live and how the conversion is done, but uh, it is around uh, for, uh, 49 for the uh, yearly plan, which is uh, around 50 USD uh, for the yearly plan, Pro probably a little less than 50, I would say like 40, 45, something like that. Uh, uh, that is the conversion uh, for the yearly plan, but it has monthly plans as well, starting from uh, I think uh, the early adopter plan was around 3.5 uh, USD, something like that. Um, again, it is not perfect because of conversion and local pricing and things like that, but it has monthly uh, pricing as well as the yearly plan. So it isn't too expensive considering we have things like Sunsama uh, that are... Uh, much more expensive than something like this, but they also offer a bit more. And basically uh, the way this application works. So let's go through what you can add here. You can add your calendar, I've done that. Uh, and you can also add wearables like Apple Health, which I have connected, Garmin, Whoop, Fitbit, Aura, and 8 Sleep. Um, so you can connect all of these to do your sleep tracking. Uh, I think things like stress tracking uh, on some wearables also uh, changes uh, things inside of here, but my Apple Health does not have uh, stress tracking, so I haven't been able to test that out on my Apple Watch. You can also uh, connect to-do list applications with uh, Trello, Todoist, and um, Tech Tech coming soon. Uh, which covers most of the to-do list applications people use, uh, at least in the productivity community. It is like Todoist and uh, TickTick that are the biggest one. Trello is a little weird. I haven't seen anyone have a connection to Trello, but this application has it. You can add notifications, but uh, currently not uh, available on the web. This application is available on App Store, Google Play Store, uh, on the web as well as uh, the uh, Chrome extension, which doesn't actually do too much. Uh, so uh, not worth it yet, but uh, it has mobile applications as well as a Chrome extension and the web version, which I am using right now. The application is not perfect. So I have been uh, trying uh, this application out a little bit, but I haven't got it to sync my sleep data yet. So that is something I will need to look into. But the way the application works is that it gives you an energy score uh, that is represent represented uh, from zero to a hundred. So zero is the lowest score, a hundred is the best score. And the score is calculated using circadian rhythms and your sleep data. The higher the wave, the higher you score, indicating the best times for you to perform challenging tasks. Your self-reported data along with the category of each calendar event further fine tune your energy wave. 
that is basically how this application works and there are a couple of things so the first thing is that it, it uses the sleep tracking data and things like that uh, the other part is the self-reported da data so when you try out an application uh, or when you jump into the application for the first time it prompts you with three or four questions so it prompts you with uh, how do you feel after low energy tasks how do you feel after high energy tasks how do you feel after meetings and you can answer all of those things i think it was like four or five uh, of those types of questions which you could answer and those are the things that actually fine tune um fine tune your energy wave so uh, if you have a lot of meeting and you often feel tired after meeting, that will actually change your energy wave and your energy levels during the day. But apart from having this like really cool idea of using data to help you uh, better schedule your tasks, you also have the ability to use this as a basic like um, daily planner application that aggregates your to-dos from different places uh, and you can then drag them into your uh, calendar so let's just do a test task here let's do test you can add a description here you can add a time here you can change this and add a new project i uh, can do a few things this is still quite limited uh, right here so as you can see uh, once i have like added the time i need to click here to uh, remove it uh, that doesn't actually work but this is the only clickable place uh, here I can't actually remove it quite easily so you have to actually double click that that doesn't make uh, too much sense so uh, UI uh, thing right there but uh, you will encounter like small issues like this uh, when you try out a new application uh, so let's say I just wanted to remove uh, all of it. I didn't want to have any time uh, set. Uh, I missed click. That is actually a little hard to do inside of uh, this application. So just to show you some of the minor issues because this is still at a really early stage. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just add a new task like this. Just create it to show you that you can drag this to set the time right here and I can click on it uh, and I can move it and I can also change the duration of it uh, by holding over it let's see if I am able to do it like this and actually dragging to uh, not like that uh, actually dragging to resize the uh, event and how long it takes you can also just add an event like this like in every any other calendar let me just go ahead and let me delete this and let me go ahead and delete this as well so it has those basic functionalities my thoughts on an application like this is that i really like the idea there is a question uh that i have and that is whether or not uh, like companies like apple microsoft google will just add this kind of functionality into their applications maybe they will maybe they won't uh, and for now uh, this isn't too good uh, it still needs time to develop as i said it is still in a really early stage it is uh, at the version 0 0.26 is the version i'm on right now so it will need a lot of time until it is at uh, the level uh, that we would want something like this. We would want our daily planner to be at. But um, the idea is really good. This is what I'm looking for in AI. I'm looking for AI to help me organize and plan out my day so I can spend more time doing the things I enjoy like writing, drawing, designing, things like that. So. Uh, I really like the idea of this. I will be playing around with it. I will also be sure to jump into my uh, Apple Watch and double check the synced data recordings, play around with it and uh, get back to you in a while to see whether or not this actually uh, fits the 
feelings I have during the day around my focus. Anyways, that was it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.